Hello everybody, it's Space 92 here, and I'm bringing you something a little bit, uh, uh, it's not stop motion related, it's um, it's a quick uh, run through or let's play of Burning Godzilla Lords, Godzilla Monster World RPG. Um, but let's get something off the bat real fast, I've been trying to get this recording to work for uh, two weeks now. Uh, has to do with a lot of technical difficulties involving fraps and RPG Maker VX or just RPG Maker itself. It, 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 if anyone's familiar with the engine, you know that certain USB devices cause a lot of interference, meaning your character will just walk in one direction or just won't even respond at all. Uh, this is what I was running into with my uh, my current recording sessions was uh, I thought I found a way around it, but it actually didn't really work as well as I thought. It was still, uh, it still was just, uh, bugging out the game. And now it's just, uh, I think it's just unequal levels of audio. I, I really have to adjust that. But either way, and, uh, um, technical difficulty sees aside, I'm finally bringing you this, um, so this is a video game, uh, created on the RPG Maker engine by Burning Godzilla Lord and a few other people. Uh, a few other people, if I forgot your names, I'm sorry. Uh, last time I played through this, which was two days ago, I really should have written down your guys' names on the credits. Um, if any of you guys are watching this, please post a comment on the YouTube videos that, hey, I did this and this. Or better yet, Burning Godzilla Lord, if you find time, post all of the, um, all of the people responsible for making this uh, in a comment section or send me a PM on the forum site and I'll update the video description here on YouTube mm. so sorry about that you guys but let's, let's uh, get this going a little bit so this is a open a uh, open uh, not an open beta a, uh, a tech demo this tech demo is basically what you should expect for seeing the game or when you play the game in its final release the I mean, there will be a lot of bugs in this if any of you guys have already played this, and I really think anyone who's watching this has played this before, but if you guys haven't, uh, remember this is a technical demo, meaning there will be a lot of bugs. This is just, this is a step below beta. This is, you know, this is not even what you should see in the final version. This is just basic, basic upon basic tools. It's still a very interesting play, though, and it should give you a rough idea of what this game should be like when it's finally released. Uh, it's in, this is made on the RPG Maker VX engine, so if any of you guys have ever used anything from the RPG Maker universe, any games created on this engine, you will notice a few similarities, but remember these are probably subject to change throughout the final version of the release. Uh, as mentioned before, this is an RPG. Now, some of you may be thinking how an RPG will work in the Godzilla universe. You know, it, it just seems taboo, but it's actually not. How Burning Godzilla Lord put this together is just phenomenal. It's it, 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 it's, uh, it's a real eye-opener eye on this, about how well it's pieced together, I mean, in terms of story, gameplay. But... It, uh, it's just a phenomenal piece, I and mean, if you haven't played it already, there will probably be a download link in the description, an annotation, or... There'll just probably just be a link to where you can download it, somewhere in the comments or something, or in the video description. Uh, like I said, this, this is just going to be like a quick playthrough. It's not really a let's play. Um, I might be doing a let's play as soon as um, more versions come out. Uh, but as of now, it's just a, hey, this is what this game is, you guys should play it. Um, so sorry for the pause there, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to think. The overall quality of the game is very, very well done. There's subtle hits of comedy throughout this that if you're not familiar with the developer or any, any, of, any of his... Uh, I don't know, what did I say, co-designers, co-workers? Um, they're, they're homages to different parts of their or, their or his creations. So I'll point a few out as much as I can, but... Remember, this is sort of, this is a demo, so a few things will be changed, but... Alright, 
let's get this started. So when you first play the game, there will just be this little opening crawl and uh, text saying hello, welcome to the game. Uh, if you have any bugs, please report them here. Uh, I had to skip over that due to technical reasons. Uh, I wasn't recording my audio very well. So either way, when you first start the game, you're greeted with this beautiful sprite of Godzilla. And you can see it's very well done. It, it's a custom sprite. So you'll see a lot of these throughout the game. Um, no, I don't want to rest yet. Okay, so let's start off with the controls. Very basic. You move the controls by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Move left, right, up, and down. You press... Oh, I didn't turn playing. I just think of a different game. You press um, X, and it brings up your inventory screen. You have items, skills, equipment, status, formation, and game in. And below that, you can see your current amount of zen. And to the right, you can see your kick... Uh, your your heroes. They are the current level, the current FP and fighting power. Um you can select you can select certain uh, options by pressing Z. So let's go with our items and you can see we have no items. We have items which would probably fall under usable items that are used during out of combat or during combat. We have weapons, armors and key items. Now, you know, how would Godzilla carry a weapon? You know, he won't be running around with a machine gun or a big giant sword. If you're familiar with the Trendmasters releases of Godzilla, there is a line in there currently called Power Ups. Now, remember, this was back in the 90s. So if you're a 90s kid like I am, you will probably remember this. So the Trendmasters releases of Godzilla had something called Power Ups, which were these, uh, silver metallic pieces that you put on your Godzilla figures, Mechagodzilla, King Ghidorah, uh, Rodan, Angaris, Kumonga, um, Mechagodzilla, these, and Mecha King Ghidorah. These were these silver armor pieces that would sort of give them like this super terminator or battle armor kind of look. Uh, this is intended to my knowledge be the weapons and the armor setup. Uh, or maybe something around the roads of like some other I mean it's really hard to come up with weapons or armors for the Godzilla universe but that's I remember hearing something about there will be the references to the power up line in this uh, for the weapons and armors sorry if I'm stuttering I'm getting over a massive headache here but all right let's go over to key items um, to my knowledge there are no key items yet in this game uh, but they will be used for like story mode purposes, like let's say Godzilla egg might fall in under there. Um, large piece of power crystal might fall under there. And a few other things. Uh, you press uh, Z to enter through and select an item, but we don't have that yet. X will go back, so let's go back to skills. And if you have multiple party members, you should be able to just press down or up and select them. So let's select this. So now this is your overall character stats means you have melee and tactical and I could actually get into those during battle but as you can see you can see Godzilla he's a reptile class with 450 out of 450 of HP and 90 out of 90 FP you will notice that as your HP drains it will obviously drain from this little bar when you hit zero your character is knocked out when all your characters are knocked out it will cause an instant game over which means you have to start back from your last save point um, you'll notice that there's abilities down there that use FP. If you're ever familiar with Pokemon or any, well, Pokemon's a bad example. If you're familiar with any RPG, you'll notice like uh, a Sword Slash will use 10 FP out of your 90. And when you run out of FP, you cannot use any more special abilities. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Equipment, same thing as skills. You can select a character and you can. You can choose your equipment, which we don't have any. And we have... Oh yeah, Wait, sorry in this here, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have weapon. When you go to change equipment, you should have a list of weapons here later in the future. And it will show how much your stats change. The left side is your current stats, and your right side is your... Uh, soon to be... Stats. Uh, let it be increased or decreased. Equip best is a little cheat button where you can automatically equip all the best items for your character. That could mean that it could lower some of your stats if the overall gain is higher. 
Yeah, but that's something complicated. We'll get down to that as the game progresses. But if you notice, you know, to the left, you'll see attack, defense, spirit attack, spirit defense, agility, and luck. Attack uh, governs your overall melee attacks in terms of damage. The higher your attack stat goes, the more melee, the stronger your melee attacks will get. Defense governs your physical defense, if I'm not mistaken. And physical defense will lower all the physical damage you take. Spirit attack and spirit defense work just like attack and defense, but they are governed towards special abilities. Like uh, Mecha Godzilla's eye beams might count as that, or Godzilla's atomic breath will probably count as a spirit attack. Um, those will probably end up being changed like special attack or special defense later. Uh, agility and luck. I am not too familiar with these stats, but I believe agility has to do with um, the attack order and how often your character dodges an attack. So it's something I wouldn't really worry about it unless you're fighting bosses. They will probably end up getting an advantage. You should probably get an uh, advantage, but quicker enemies will obviously attack faster. And there's a few other surprises in the game that hopefully we can capture on camera. Uh, luck. Luck is, if you're ever sim similar to playing Pokemon or another RPG, you'll notice that luck is basically a hidden stat in most games which governs, you know, how much gold you loot from a treasure chest, what item drops off a boss kill, or overall, if you escape from combat, will you gain a critical, will you dodge this, Will you resist a, a poison attack or anything like that? Will a poison attack actually poison you? Luck is a is the governing stat of that, to my knowledge. I mean, I'm just... Uh, you've probably heard that. That's my cat. Hey. Yes, go back to sleep. So... Yeah. Let's forget that happened. Status. You can select your character and you can see... Your current XP and your ne XP to your next level. You have your current level, your HP, your FP, your stats. And you have a little bio of the character. And this one will be Godzilla, of course, being a reptile. And being the king of monsters. Formation is you can swap around your uh, current party. Like, you can have Anguirus up in front. You can have Rodan or Godzilla, Mothra. Uh, whoever else is in the game. Uh... You can have, I remember thinking as the time of my previous recordings, you can only have four characters in your party. I believe, uh, just announced like a couple days ago, BGL said, um, something along the lines of you can have infinite members in your party, but you can only have four in your formation at a time. I think he said four. It's four or something like that. Four or eight. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting these facts wrong. I really should have put like a little piece of paper and taped it in front of like a... Uh, computer screen here. And game end if you want to end your game, you can just go through here. Or you can just all that for. Zen is your current amount of money. Um, quick thing, I've changed that to yen. That's just me. Alright, so we can rest here. Resting restores all of your HP, to my knowledge, and restores your, your dead characters. And this is a pink gem door. <laughs> Remember, these will be changed. So the pink gem doors, you can save, shop, or cancel. Let's uh, save here. Yes, I like to save. Mm -hmm. Save over file three. All right, now that we saved, let's go uh, explore this real fast. There's not much to see. Other than we have an animated waterfall. More rest areas. And let's uh, head out through here. And I will meet you guys actually in the next episode, since I don't have a timer to see how long this video is going on for. Alright, so more to come in video 2. 